the White House wants to work out a deal to end this government shutdown. Democrats want to work out a deal to end the shutdown. But the problem is, as you pointed out, border wall funding. So that's why they're here at the White House today, and they'll be talking about it a little bit later on this afternoon. I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. But first, let me share a statement from Sarah Sanders, the White House press secretary. Uh, she seems a bit frustrated by the fact that the Democrats seem... Well, at this point, unwilling to make a deal. She said this, President Trump made a serious good faith offer to Democrats to open the government, address the crisis at our border, and protect all Americans. We've heard nothing back from the Democrats, who so far have refused to compromise. Speaker-designate Nancy Pelosi released a plan that will not reopen the government because it fails to secure the border and puts the needs of other countries above the needs of our own citizens. Strong words there from the White House press secretary. Meanwhile, uh, the White House will be a hive of activity today, John, most notably with that briefing, as you pointed out, set to take place in the Situation Room this afternoon around 3 p.m. The attendees, a familiar cast of faces, Pelosi, Hoyer, McCarthy, Scalise, McConnell, Thune, Schumer, and Durbin, each recalcitrant, but federal workers, unfortunately, caught in the political crossfire. Now, for his part, uh, the president sounds like he might be willing to do a bit of horse trading to solve the problem. He said this on Twitter yesterday to the presumptive incoming Speaker Nancy Pelosi. He said border security and the wall thing and shutdown is not where Nancy Pelosi wanted to start her tenure as Speaker. Let's make a deal? Question mark. As you can imagine, she forcefully rejected that offer by the president. We'll see if the tone and tenor changes this afternoon. Of course, we'll have details, but for now, back to you, John.